Hello and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today, I managed to get banned on the Modern Warfare 3 beta on a PS4. Now let me explain. The reason why I got banned in the game is because I found a glitch. And of course, I figured since it was just like Call of Duty, especially when Call of Duty was in its older stages in life, whenever you find a glitch, you uploaded it, the developers got right on it and fixed it, right? Well, I got banned. But the thing that gets me the most about this spot is there's a ladder in the middle of nowhere, first of all, on a random wall around the corner from a floating light pole, first of all. And secondly, when you climb the ladder, it goes nowhere. You're literally on top of a wall. I accidentally found this glitch by just walking to my left. And I feel as if somebody from Activision purposely put this there to where they could swing out the van hammer on people because they know people were going to use it. Of course, quite frankly, unfortunately for me, I posted and a lot of people started using it. But what gets me is it took them a few hours to fix a rock glitch that was on a state that was similar to the fuel glitch from Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 2009. They fixed it within a few hours, but with this glitch, they let it ride out and it didn't get patched until the beta ended. Hopefully it did get patched. If not, then they're just swinging out the ban hammer. But now I got a thing on my screen when I was playing PS4 saying I was permanently banned. But what gets me is when I go to Activision, I actually got a 30 day ban. Now, after doing some research, of course, because I did not know finding a wall breach that was in fact accessible accidentally, of course, I get banned because of it. So of course it's a glitch. They don't really want people glitching in your game, which makes sense. But in this glitch, you could still die. You know, if someone were to shoot in the same exact direction they were being shot from, they can kill the person. That's how I died in a glitch. But it just, I don't know. I, I've, I've been banned before on Call of Duty. It was on Vanguard when it was the Flame Knot and the Limited War Machine glitch. I, I tried it a few games. I had fun. And then the rumor started going around saying I was using cheats. And I know these developers want to produce the best of content. You know, I'm not against that. I, I really do want a polished game on release. I really do want a game that is fun to play you know that is awesome that that hits all markers everywhere and with the modern warfare 3 we actually are you know it's it's kind of getting to that point from my understanding from me just playing it personally it's like a 2019 base game to where like they took 2019 modern Warfare 2019 and then added in modern warfare 2 elements you know, and I feel it. I really do feel it, man. And with a lot of the things that they've learned in the past, in my personal opinion, I know people will have their own opinions when it comes to building a game, making a game. But if you're making a game for people to invest in, people to spend countless hours on, invest a lot of time in, wouldn't you want to make a game like Black Ops 3, for instance, where that game was perfect all around when it came to campaign, when it came to zombies, when it came to multiplayer, in-game purchasable items, uh, DLC, everything. I would want something like that. But now, currently, in the whole system that we got, I feel as if a lot of the players that are actually investing a lot of money in this game, they're being harvested. Money harvested. And I'm not saying that in ignorance. I'm not saying that just to say it. It's just something I personally have observed. You know, I, it, it's just unfortunate that's just the way it is. I mean, gotta understand Activision is a corporation and you gotta get you gotta get it where getting's good you know so you gotta create these patents you gotta create these things that are going to work in your favor of course so it does suck i just want to see call of duty flourish like it did in the past and i know a lot of you guys and girls that are watching this that have been in the franchise for a long time or even just now getting into it you guys want a fun game to play you guys want something that's very enjoyable that's not lackluster that's not pay to win that's you know just all these fun things and i I truly want that because at the end of the day, you know, it's just, you can only play something for so long until it gets a little stale and then you just lose interest. I mean, granted, we've all been through these phases, not just with Call of Duty, but with other games we've enjoyed. Me personally, it's been with Fallout 76, Call of Duty, Minecraft, many other games like that. It's just, for me personally, video games have always been there for me through the thick and thin. You know, I've personally escaped my own reality because I had some bad times and I invested myself into video games because it distracted me from the things that were bringing me down. And quite frankly, they brought me up. I met some really good friends. I was able to do some crazy things. And it's just that rush. And of course, I do understand skill-based matchmaking, many other things. They're trying to make it to where you're not on the game for such a long time. You know, they, these people do actually got to eye out for us when it comes to humans. You know, video game addiction is real. 
personally, I've had it a few times in my life. It it, it takes a lot out of you, man. And of course, if you try to turn it into something such as content creation, you know, by all means, invest time into that. You know, set aside five, six hours here to get the content that you want. Then invest two, three, four, five, six hours to create the content and do that on a daily basis or bi-weekly or who knows. But everyone has a different goal when they want to achieve something. But with further ado, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to thank you guys for stopping by. I do apologize about the little rant, but I felt as if it was kind of needed. I am looking forward to the new PC beta that actually drops tomorrow. Um, I'm excited for it. A little nervous, but very excited. And I just can't wait to see how the game actually functions. I will keep you guys posted. Um, of course, I am working like 55, 56, 60 hours a week. So it's kind of hard for me to make content like I really, really want to. Like if I was able to find some investors or find some people to help invest in me to where I can actually put a lot of effort and put a lot of faith into this, I would I'd go crazy, man. Because I, I love it. Like I love creating content. I love playing video games. And it's not even just that though. You know, I feel as if I got a pretty decent personality when it comes to doing things. I don't know. I'm just really excited. I love you guys, man. And I will see you guys in the next one. It most certainly has been a pleasure and it has been sweaty. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep an eye out for some Modern Warfare 3 beta gameplay here on the channel. Kind of fumbled it on PS4, but we're going to get some on PC.